This undercover footage obtained by animal campaigners appears to confirm their concerns in graphic detail. They've also revealed an even more disturbing practice. Poor little Alsatian. This undercover footage was obtained in China. In the city of Harbin. Look at him. A fur trader starts cutting him, he's alive. Bird. And shows how domestic cats and dogs are being routinely farmed for their fur. I've seen this a hundred times and I still... And the dog slowly dies. Look, he's, he's, I mean, he doesn't just kill him. He's skinning him just Soon to have a better fur. Soon the trader has what he came for. A fur he will sell for a few dollars. It's an Alsatian dog. After they're killed, their furs go here to huge warehouses where workers sort them and piece them together. Since we showed that video, it always gets me every time. I watch it, I watched it so many times and I just can't believe it. It's just people for fashion. The British Fur Trade Association has pledged never to handle the fur of domestic cats and dogs, but they only represent a fraction of retail outlets selling fur in Britain. So Heather's determined to raise awareness on the issue among high street shoppers. I mainly want people with fur on. Let's try this. Can I help meet you where the dogs and cats? Thank you. Campaigners fear dog and cat fur is being wrongly labelled and making its way into the country to be bought by unsuspecting customers. Hi, it's just about the dogs and cats, would you mind? No? Can I just meet you where the dogs and cats? Thank you. Thank you. Do you care about animals? Obviously not. <laughs> Sorry, can I give you that about the dogs and cats? Please. Thank you. No, don't care about them. But she's finding it tough going converting shoppers to her cause. Can I give you that about the dogs and cats? Just to help the no, dogs I and cats? I'm sorry. Mind you, I can't say I haven't walked past a leaflet deliverer in my time. Can I just let you know about the dog and cat fur issue? Thank you. What I have noticed is that a lot of the women in the long fur coats, they kind of want to run away. And it's like, OK, there's a little bit of guilt there about what you're wearing. But is there enough to give that coat up? Can I give you that on the dog and cat fur? Just on the dog, thanks. Even the paparazzi can't escape from Heather's campaigning. Excuse me, do you want to know what it's about so that when you do your picture, you can promote the campaign? Sure. Thank you. Right. Make sure you give them the one with the picture on it. The mixed response to Heather's high street campaigning highlights the extent to which times have changed in the world of fashion. Crawford, Linda Evangelista or um, Jennifer Lopez, you know, there is no way I would be gentle because they've been informed time and time again. It's a night for celebration, but as the stars continue to arrive, Heather is determined to make the most of her time with the world's media on the red carpet. But it's very, very important to you, celebrity, to get the message out and to make a difference, you know. Oh, it's good, you know, they were shocked when I said, you know, I'm here to raise awareness that dogs and cats have been skinned alive all around the country and uh, all around China and imported all through many countries. So it was just like, in shock because they wanted to talk about Blasio things like dresses, some of them. But about 80% of them were really interested in the cause, so, you know, we'll just keep pummeling away and get the message out. Everyone, let's start off this evening by wel welcoming a true friend to PETA and animals and my mate, Lady Heather Mills McCartney. agreed to accept this tonight was on behalf of all of the amazing people that are happy in their own skin and don't need to murder somebody to wear theirs. Until they agree to stop selling fur. We've yeah, yeah, done a test run on this now. We'll go to J. Crew and put this on and show the video and try and get the customers to just totally boycott it. Once again, the US media have gathered en masse to see Heather's latest protest. Please boycott J. Crew until they actually find some warmth in their heart to stop using fur. Steal their skin. 
The China footage may be disturbing, but Heather hopes it will stop potential shoppers from entering the store. Please boycott J. Crew. Don't run and avoid it, lady. Just please take a leaflet. That's all we ask. Brussels, home to the European Parliament. Heather's here to attend a press conference she hopes will force through legislation that will see the trade in dog and cat fur banned within the EU. We're really optimistic, but at the same time, all this bureaucratic BS that's what slows the world down and things that need to be sorted all the time, you know. They talk about doing labelling. It'll take far more time to sort labelling out than it would just to do a complete dog and cat fur ban. You know, it's bad enough they oh do it in China, God, but, is... you know, the Commission have always said, well, you know, it happens in China, happens in China but it the, doesn't happen in Europe. It's happening here. Heather has made such a difference to this campaign that I believe now we're at the point of getting a decision out of the Commission. Now, what we have to make sure is that it's the right decision. An EU-wide ban on the import, export and trade in cat and dog skins. Not some waffle about a labelling regulation. That'd be useless. If after six years of campaigning, we still don't get anywhere, I'm going to be bloody frustrated. Look how Absolutely many, beautiful look how many tabbies there are there. That's I know. One, one two, two, three, four, four eight, 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 twelve, sixteen. 20, sixteen. Sixteen. Jesus. No, actually, these are separate. They're separate. Yeah, it's 20 that's then. twenty. That's twenty. Jeez. But they've been here before. Last year, Struan and Heather presented evidence from China. They now hope proof of European trade will be enough to achieve the ban they've been working for. The main point today is how much more do we have to show for this ban to be in place? I mean, these cats are domestic cats. We're not living in caveman days. That is 20 tabby cats. The press conference concludes with a showing of undercover footage exposing the farming of domestic dogs in China. It's always shocking watching it every time, isn't it? It's, but you have to show them that because just the Czech Republic having skins, they were kind of... And then when they saw the Alsatian being skinned alive, it was just like... And people couldn't look too much. But hopefully, you know, we just... What can we say? You know, you can only just keep pushing and pushing, and I just plead that the... It's crazy. So, I mean, I've been doing 11 months now, and I still have it. So awful. You know what upsets me the most is, like, they have the power to stop it. And I just can't believe it. just full of bureaucratic bullshit, and that's the problem in the world, you know? It's now up to the EU Commission whether the ban they've been working towards will ever happen. The Chinese government are also set to examine fur farming within the country, raising hopes this could lead to tougher animal welfare legislation. And three months after Heather's New York protest, J. Crew decided to remove fur from their stores right across America.